and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today we are going to discuss about how we can find out the maximum and minimum values if we are given with a function and it is known that the function is maxima or minima. Okay. And this method which we are going to use for today is Lagrange's method. How we can use it? There are three steps and we will do uh, one by one with an example. Let's do it. You can see that divide 24 into 3 parts such that the continued product of the first square of the second and the cube of the third may be maximum. So what can be the function now? Because it is divided into 3 parts, so let's say 3 parts be x, y and z. Okay. Now, according to question, what is it saying? That product of first square of the second and cube of the third is maximum, right? So this is your function in terms of x, y and z, right? Now, what is given to you? That these x, y and z are divided in such a way that the sum is 24, right? So x plus y plus z equals 24 is your another you can say equation if you take it here, right? If you take it in minus, then you can say that this is your function in terms of x, y, and z. Let's say it is phi function, okay? Now, what you need to do in terms of Lagrange's method, so, it states that your main function is the sum of two functions which are like your maximum or minimum function plus lambda is another constant and your given function, okay? Now, from here we can analyze that this is x, y square, z cube and this is x plus y plus z minus 24, right? So this was your first step using this formula. Now your next step is you have to find out the different partial differentiation of that particular function with respect to x, y and z and equate them as 0. Okay. So your step 2 is partial differentiation of main function with respect to x, y and z and you have to put it as 0. So here, what is it? If you differentiate it with respect to x, it is y square z cube. And if you equate this, if you differentiate partially with respect to x, rest all will be constants. Only lambda will be left. So lambda x, differentiation of lambda x will be lambda, right? For differentiation of function with respect to y, it would be for y square it is 2y, right? And this would be lambda y, so lambda, right? Then after for z, it would be 3z square, right? So x, y square, this is 3z square and it is lambda, okay? Now, if you equate all of these as 0, so how we can do it? Let's see. Let me write here your function. This is your function x f x y z this is another function which is x plus y plus z minus 24 okay now and you have already I'm writing it down so that I can erase it now if you put these three things as 0. So y square z cube plus lambda 0 and this will be 0. 2xy z cube plus lambda and this is 3xy square z square plus lambda 0. Okay. Now you need to equate your, uh, this is the part of your second step only. You need to find out the values of x, y and z. Okay. So how you can equate them? See, both of these are 0, so left side 
will be created. Lambda is cancelled with lambda. Then y with y, z cube with z cube, y is 2x, right? Again, you can equate these two. So 2x, y, z cube, lambda will be cancelled with lambda. What is left? z cube, sorry. So z square will be cancelled with z square. y with y, x is with x. So what is left? 2z is equal to y, 3y. Okay, so from here, y is 2x, from here, y is 2z by 3. Correct? Now, what you can do, from here, x is y by 2. Or else, what you can do, simply put, y is this, y is this, so 2x will be 2z by 3, right? So, x is, 2 is cancelled with uh, 2, x is z by 3, okay? From here, x is y by 2. So, if you substitute as an x, y and z form, your x is z by 3, your y is 2z by 3 or you can say your y is 2x, so x will be y by 2, right? So, you can write it like this. This is your equation form, put it as k, let this is equal to k. So, your x will be 1k, y will be 2k and z would be 3k, right? Substitute this in any of the equation. So this was your equation initially. x plus y plus z equals 24, right? This was your main equation. So k, 2k, 3k, 5 and 1, 6k equals 24, k is 4, correct? So your x is 4, y is 4 times 2, 8 and z is 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 12. Okay, so these are the points where your main function will be maximum. And the maximum value of function, if you see, put these values, x is 4, y is 8 and z is 3. This will be your maximum value of a function, okay? I hope you understand this video. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.